Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and this is a video I have mentioned I was going to do a few times. Um, but basically this pile of stuff is all my different uh, storage containers. And I thought I'd go through and give <clears throat> my opinion on all of them. The good and the bad, the good, the bad, the ugly basically. Um, so what I do have is tubes now these i started out with that was my starting out point i will say this container with thin balsa wood is another thing that i did with plastic bags i have these things which are probably the my least favorite um, so i'll show you those uh, this is the 24 20 28 container um, actually this is not my least favourite. My least favourite is this one. Um, okay, I've got the Dereese. I've got the Cottage Mills. I have Harbour Freight. I have Craft Mates. And I have the 60 bottle tube with air travel case one. So, out of all my... My top three is the Dereese, the Elizabeth Ward, the craft made it's lockable and the 60 bottle tubes but i'll go through these so that you can see the difference and i'll just slide that back and i will go to i will show you the ones so i'll start with the bad first the ones that are completely useless for diamond painting okay hang on we'll get that out of the way now the cottage mills i thought oh this looks fantastic okay i'm just trying to work out which way is up which way is down though it doesn't matter so the cottage mills i thought was fantastic um, there's a lot of little small storage containers large and small i did do that upside down you know that you can't tell up top from bottom there we go. Um, you have large, you have your extra large, really big ones. Um, you, yeah, there's quite a few different different ones there. Uh, these ones interlock, but these are hard to work with diamond painting. I actually didn't kit up anything in this because it was just too clunky. Um, excuse me it was just you know because you've got your small containers and they sit on top of each other in in there you've got um, these ones are pretty good but then these clips to me just weren't you know to try and open those up you've got to be careful opening them up if they've got drills so cottage mills for diamond painting wouldn't go near them again uh, as you can see, I haven't used them yet. Um, I am looking at this for the resin stuff, but definitely not, not for diamond painting. If you're looking at them, all I can say is don't do it. So they were not worth getting. Next one, not worth getting. So you've seen these with the 21. Okay, so I have beads in these. I do have some drills in here, uh, special drills, um, but then I've got the pearly stuff. Now I put all these, these end up inside uh, resin now, but you, how do I put it, you've got to lift obviously to get in. If you're going to be, a, if you like to pour into your drill trays, come on camera focus. I'll get there. I'm gonna have to kick this camera. <laughs> Hang on a sec guys. There we go. Sorry you will see me do that to try and get this to focus. Um, but to actually pour these out it is chunky. It is horrible. 
if you're going to pour them out pour them out is just useless especially if you're going for one in the middle that's pretty hard to pour out um, good for special drills but nothing else um, so this one is yet again stuff that I'll pull, that I use inside resin is what I'll put in there not worth it okay the next one and I thought this was pretty good hang, hang on Oops. I will eventually remember so this one opens up and you've got your little containers for your drills okay uh, these are used so you can see these are the crystal drills that I used I do have one that is empty so I brought two of these thought oh these are perfect um, what can I say even without fingernails my ability to get those out were shocking you either tip them all out or you actually had to have something to pull them out with now opening them you know opening them is no issue there you can pour in pour out um, you know so the only issue I had with this is well a couple of issues one is the small quantities you can't put much in there the um, getting them out of the out of there it's just it is really hard to do even without with fingernails I can do it without um, yeah there we go but it takes a bit of effort uh, the other thing is these little lips where they uh, are shut okay it's only very little and easy to break and I've just closed that you can't even hear that it's closed you can hear that I open it but you can't tell that you've closed it properly um, and obviously they don't hold much so that's one where um, yeah, I've tried to utilize it a couple of times but not had much luck with it so and obviously I can never remember which is top or bottom okay so they're the three that I wouldn't go with ever again um, Oh, were you utilizing them for my resin stuff now what I first started out with my very first lot of um, <coughs> ways that I stored and worked with them it was these tubes um, so these are just from a two dollar store a reject store or one of your cheap craft stores probably your dollar stores as well numerous sizes um, and I actually find they worked well um, I have found though that when I drop them with or without drills uh, which I've done both you do find that um, where is it do I have one no you do I do find that I end up throwing out because I when I drop them you get that they split and they crack and then they don't you can't do them up you can't screw them on but if you're not clumsy these are actually perfect for starting out you know you get a pack for about a dollar or two dollars or whatever like that so that's they are really good especially when you're working with something that's got only small amount big amounts and extra large so if you're doing something that's got a lot of three tens these are good um, and I just mix, mix and match mine as I need them you know, um, then this one <coughs> So, <coughs> excuse me, where is it? I will see if I can find, oh yeah. When working out of baggies, so some of the companies you get um, baggies, you get your drills in baggies. So what I have is these containers and this is little, very, very thin balsa wood. Very, very light. And what I do um, I will actually do the first five and then the next six to ten um, as they're listed or I will actually sort them by in their 200s, in their 300s, in their 400s, in the 30s or the 33s, the 36s. So I use that to actually separate them um, but um, because the baggies, there's a little skinny one, but because the baggies don't tend to stand up on their own 
it just makes it easier to keep one group together and it's easier to find so you can see like that um, but that's how I I use this when I have a company that supplies baggies with the code on it um, I like to do that and that is very inexpensive I got I think I got four of these for two dollars and then this is just balsa wood that I got at spotlight which probably is your Michaels or your Joann's or something like that um, they are your two cheapest options and they work fantastic um, there is nothing wrong with doing that and it's really good to work with um, even if I'm not doing um, baggies I utilize this for holding these so when I'm working I put the, my colors all in one of these and yeah I can put my tweezers my drill tray my pen all in here and it's, I'm able to actually work I have done I've worked in the front room while watching Game of Thrones um, now the front room is Nathan's domain so I don't go out there very often but yeah so that is two of the cheapest options which work absolutely fantastic this way work the ones with the balsa wood and just in the container brilliant for the baggies um, but by having this balsa wood it just gives that bag, the baggies a little bit of extra support okay so that's those oh, yeah. then another one which we've all seen is the 28 container now this is actually from this is actually from my second diamond painting so I still have the colors in there uh, this is these colors are where are they from um, how silly of me diamond dots um, so these are diamond dots colors so I've left them in here because I'm not putting them with anything else um, but they were actually quite good I will say that uh, did I get any yeah no I've got those on the right way you are having to work with um, opening up that way and putting away which is no issue but if you haven't I will show you with this one if you haven't shut and I will do it this way so I don't mix the colors put some in there not many but I'll put some in there so if you haven't shut hang on if you haven't shut something properly and you do that you can end up with one of these um, popping open if you haven't shut it properly you end up spilling drill so you've got to make sure that two things one it shuts properly the other is if you're going to pour them out you make sure you hold them down and pour them out like that um, nothing wrong with these when they uh, when you end up damaging one of these tabs you're down to three in one row um, I suppose they don't take they take a fair amount of drills in them um, but not massive quantities so I have used them where I've had to go um, one two three eight nine I'm just checking no, where I've actually filled in two to two say um, instead of five and six I've had to do five and five because the containers aren't big enough for all the colors but works well it does work well you just sort of know how to be careful with them when you're opening them up so that's those ones and then we come to Harbour Freight I do like the Harbour Freight I have I pitted this one up for scale um, I do like the Harbour Freight however it is a very soft container and it as you can see this one's warped a little bit um, the issues with this okay so the issue the, the issues with this great containers they hold a lot of drills um, but if you I'm one of these people that I'll open up no, I need to do that I will actually open up like that 
and I tend to drop drills because I open up on an angle. Um, when you, which is what I just did then, okay, so just pull them back in. The flip side of that is you do end up them getting caught. Um, oh no, it's gone now. But they do get caught in that lip, see how that? And even if I had it flat, I'm still going to end up dropping drills. And when some end up in that top section, and you've just got to make sure you're very aware of that. Um, the other is I know I'm a rough person, and I haven't done it yet, but I can see myself ripping. Mm. I can see myself actually ripping one of these tags off and I'm going to be so frustrated with it. Um, what else? I suppose um, just the way they sit. I'm just not 100% happy with the way they sit. But uh, for the fact that when you get two, I can hold, well they each hold 24. So I can use 48 colours. Diamond Shop does 45 colours on average. Most companies do uh, around the 30, 35 to 40 mark generally so you will fit them in here um, but yeah they are a little bit um, soft um, and, and for my me being so rough um, I'm grateful that I got sent these so you can't buy these in Australia you need to have somebody that is in the US to be able to send them to you and these were sent to me um, by Cindy B as a gift, uh, and which I thank her very much for. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that's Harbour Freight containers. Then we have my three favourite, and I still cannot pick look at this, all these drills that I've just spilt. I cannot pick a favourite out of the three because they all have their benefits. Um, suppose I'll start with the craft mates. Craft mates, I'm able to put the image on the side so I know where it is. Um, I've had to do that because it's Diamond Moonshot without the labels are separate. Um, I'm able to do that. Now these are big. These hold a lot of drills. Um, so these do hold a large amount of drills uh, they you have your button and you can press it to open and nothing else opens up I have spilt drills out of these once um, I dropped I dropped them and I did have three open up in the one and I did have to sort through them thankfully there wasn't a lot um, and all I can think is is that I haven't pressed down hard enough so you do need to make sure you press down um, what else can I say ease of use ease of pouring uh, both ease of pouring is um, because these are clipped down you're not worrying about spilling like some others where you need to hold either side down um, if you uh, happen to just go, oops, I've missed a symbol. These are easy to do your quick stab and grabs. Uh, and it is a nice storage container. It does take a fair amount of space because of the thickness of it. Uh, but what does it do? 45 does 50. Fifty-six. Sorry, have a moment. Does fifty-six? Uh, I will say one of the cons on it is when you put these away, you need to be careful because labels um, can get caught on the edge of the plastic. Uh, and if you put them in and you actually accidentally push one of those buttons, that's where you're going to open up and release. One of the things I do when I put them away is I actually run my thumb along to make sure that they are um, all sealed up. And I will do it even after I've put them in just to make sure. That's because I've had one spillage. 
uh, but I do like them. It does take up quite a lot of space, but it does fit on my bookcase, which I will pop up there. So there for that. Um, now this one, the Elizabeth Ward, you can see I haven't got, this isn't full. Um, this is because I'm utilizing this for um, my big, big custom. But this is great because you have the ability to move these around um, with um, my big custom. I have three trays of these and two of the colors that I'm using for that section and the other is um, what I haven't used. It's how I keep track of what colors I'm doing. Um, there is the sides of these I'm not that keen on the, uh, you know I can get the label on there but it's there's not a lot of space and the other is actually opening these it's a hard clasp which is good but when it is full it, when it's a full one you really have to open here we go gently so as not to bounce your drills out um, but all in all I do love these um, I'm looking for <laughs> the day I finish my um, big custom this is how I keep my spare drills too so I've got two more trays of these so I've got five of these all up and um, sorry and the craft sorry the craft mates I have three craft mates but I have five of these all up and this is how I store my uh, square drills my extra square drills okay so that's that one I will so I like those and then uh, this one I, I, I have to say that this is probably my favorite um, for a multitude of reasons one it, it's you know I can travel with this um, when I get this off the shelf or get down in my craft room, it's a quick grab of the handle. Um, I can easily tell top from bottom. Uh, this is kitted up. This is a full 60 bottle kit. So there is 60 colours in, in this diamond painting that I'm working on with this one. There is a lot more colours. So like these are, this is where I hold my spare drills up here. That's a lot of 310. Um, so I do, I store my spare drills up there so I know exactly where they are. Um, this takes, uh, let's see if I can find one that's really full, fairly full. So these take a good amount of drills. I do like these because I can actually unscrew and pour just a couple or whatever if I need to, wrong colour for that. Um, if I need to do um, just a quick, um, you know, a couple of that I need to do, uh, I will say that for the trick of trying to stab and grab, you do end up having to put your tube in, your, your drill pen in quite a way to get them. Um, I have had it where instead of doing a stab and grab, I will just shake a couple out and use the lid. Um, what else? Oh, one of the other things that I use with this um, when I do my other containers I tend to leave the lids open on the color that I'm working with still do the same with this however I will actually put the container back there and I will work with that I will keep that on my table therefore my my drills are safe and secure in that and the only ones I'm going to spill is the one that's in the tray um, this has been good for when I did the my short length canvas um, because the DMC numbers were the, not DMC but the color coding numbers were out of order and it was just purely based on quantity was the order of them um, I was able to work with it that way but I could change things around these were not set in, in a set spot same as the Elizabeth Ward you can move them around a lot of the others you are just set with them in that one order um, so yeah there are my storage containers I will say I have 
four of these. So what I do is I'll do a I do kit up. I'll kit something up, and I know that I've got it kitted up, and I can work on it whenever I want. I work with um, I tend to work you know about three or four different diamond paintings at a time. So which is why I have so many containers so that when it's like oh well I'm not in the mood for that one I'm in the mood for this one um, it's all about how I feel when I'm ready to diamond paint um, now it's spilling drills I'm so good at spilling drills hang on <laughs> um, but there there we go storage containers um, how I feel about them what works for me does may not work for you you may not like them um, you know that's just the way things are you know everybody likes their own things and how they go you have your own budgets and I will say that the craft mates I think was the dearest of the lot um, I think I can't recall I've had them for too long I won't pop it back up there so guys um, let me know what do you think which ones do you like? Um, hopefully this has helped you out with choosing a storage container and going, or have you looked at something and gone, oh, that looks like it would be really good, which is what I saw with this one. I saw this one and thought, oh, that'd be really good. Um, you know, you, but you don't know the size of it until you get it. And at least this way you can see the size of it. Um, you know, that one looked really good when I got it and then the actual practicality of it, it was useless. The same as the cottage ones. I I wish I hadn't purchased them. Um, but if you want the simplest one, the simplest one is these tubes or else baggies. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully this helped you out. Help. You know, if you're looking at all different storage options, if you're new to diamond painting, um, what are the different options? You know, it, it's really great to be able to have a look at different containers, what they do, the pros, the cons. Um, I suppose it is still yet again what suits you. Um, but what I will say is I know that these three are my favourites. And I think probably this one is my favourite for my big diamond paintings. My big diamond paintings are really good for that. Um, yeah, because when I do big ones, it's you know, massive colours. And the same as the Doris is great for big ones when, uh, and you've got your range of containers. Um, so guys, thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you hit, what you like, what you don't like. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put a poll in, yeah. Yeah, I'll put a poll in um, and say, you give you guys a vote which one you guys reckon is the best um, for storage wise. Um, uh, and then we'll, it'll be an interesting poll to see what people think. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when I do uploads. And um, bye for now.